Following the Russian invasion of Ukraine, two young women are deciding to fight for their country in their own way. Anna Ozerchuk and Alina Vibroleska have been living between an apartment and a bomb shelter. Uh, many of their friends left Ukraine. They decided to stay, putting their lives and careers on hold. And Alina is uh, joining me right now. I know that the, both of the women, they're sharing their photos of their experience, kind of like a, would you say, Alina, it's like an online journal? Uh, yes, this uh, kind of an online journal. And uh, yes, we spent uh, the last couple of weeks uh, between the bomb shelter and between our flats. Right now, uh, like two days ago, we left Kiev because it started to get uh, even more dangerous. So we reconsidered with our families and we decided to go west. So we're still in Ukraine, but in the western part, which is considered a little bit more safer since Kiev is the number one target. and. Uh, even though we know that city is well protected, but still um, it's maybe like psychologically also very hard to stay there. So we went to, to the Western part and we tried to document uh, everything that happened to us, uh, that happened to us in the bomb shelter, how the life changed, how the life of uh, Kyiv citizens changed, how the life of Ukrainians changed since, since uh, February 24th. February 24th, a day uh, that will forever be remembered yes. in history books. But you and your friend, Anna, you both worked in the fashion industry uh, before this war yes. began. You say you want the fashion world to actually, the fashion industry to help. Uh, how? We think that uh, one of the most effective ways fashion industry can help is to uh, embargo export of uh, fashion and beauty products, luxury products in Russia. So. Uh, we think that uh, if all brands uh, stop working with the Russian market uh, in the times of aggression, this will help uh, actually Russian citizens to understand that what they see on TV is not true because the, one of the biggest problems is the huge level of propaganda inside Russia and people who are uh, educated, who live there, they just don't understand that what they are saying from TV is not true. So. We think that the more companies ban working with Russia right now, uh, the more it helps to ordinary people to feel the effects and, and to understand what the world is trying to say to them. I know that for you both, you've chosen to stay there. I mean, this was a, a willful, yes. intentional decision. Could you leave now and flee the country even if you wanted to? Uh, we cannot fl flee from the country because most of the airports are destroyed right now, but we can we can cross the border if possible because um, countries around, they show a, lot, a high level of hospitality. They accept our refugees. They help with the placement inside the country. They provide food. Uh, so that's, that's okay. We can do this. But uh, for us, uh, we, we decided that we trust our government. We believe uh, in our country and we believe that we can uh, be here and be still useful uh, on our like with what we can do so we can show the world we can be the eyes of the world inside the country and show what's actually happening so like while we feel that we are useful uh, we chose to stay what is it like there on a day-to-day -day basis you're waking up you're hearing explosions you're hearing air raid sirens are you able to go to the store and get food at this point after 19 days uh, of this invasion? Uh, yes, uh, in the most of the cities is possible. Of course, uh, there are a few cities that are totally destroyed, like city of Kharkiv, like Mariupol, where people are without uh, without electricity, without food, without any water. So we have cities in a very bad conditions right now. And what is more awful is that they're trying to negotiate the green corridors so people can leave. But Russians, a few times, they started to shoot green corridors. So they, start, try, they started to shoot people who tried to escape from the cities where they're totally trapped. Uh, mm. Of course, uh, when we speak about capital, we still we, we can get food. So we have big stores uh, open. Uh, so most of the shops uh, are closed, but we have those that provide food for people. So you can go to drugstore, you can get like medications that you need. There are a lot of volunteers helping. Western Ukraine is uh, better in this case. So it's, it's calmer and most of the businesses are open. But uh, we don't have to forget about the cities. They're totally cut off the, uh, they're cut off the shops, like food, water, whatever. And uh, even our government, how, no matter how they try, they cannot 
um, cannot guarantee the safety of people there because uh, because Russians don't let people escape. They don't let citizens escape the city. Well, I have one more question for you. We're out of time, but I have to ask this to you, uh, especially considering your age. Following COVID, I don't know how it was in Ukraine, but here in America, we had very strict protocols. We isolated. People couldn't leave. And now you have the war on top of that. What has this done for your yes. mental health? What has this done for, do you think, your generation's mental health? Uh, I think we're now facing one of the most complicated uh, complicated times uh, in the in the latest time. So I, I think the, each person is affected differently. So it all depends on on your overall mental strength, on the overall conditions. But uh, right now, what we're dealing with is pretty harsh. That's that's true. So I think everyone needs to um, invest in their mental health as they can. So if if having a walk helps, that's good. If uh, have, talking to a therapist helps, that's even better. So that's about supporting each other. That's support, about checking in, asking how you feel and uh, helping each other even even on a distance. Thank you, Alina Vruvleska. Uh, we appreciate you joining us this morning and continued safety and peace to you as you maintain your state Thank you so much. in Ukraine. Uh, still ahead. The Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.